So as we remember Chad, Bishop of Litchfield, and generally good egg, let's come before the Lord and pray. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed to you, God of compassion and mercy, <clears throat> to you be praise and glory for ever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. Have mercy on me, O God, in your great goodness. According to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my offences. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence and righteous in your judgment. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your salvation and sustain me with your gracious spirit. Then shall I teach your ways so the wicked and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from my guilt, O God the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 50 The Almighty God, the Lord, speaks. He calls to the whole earth from east to west. God shines from Zion, the city perfect in its beauty. Our God is coming, but not in silence. A raging fire is in front of him, a furious storm around him. He calls heaven and earth as witnesses to see him judge his people. He says, gather my faithful people to me, those who make a covenant with me by offering a sacrifice. The heavens proclaim that God is righteous and that he himself is judge. Listen, my people, and I will speak. I will testify against you, Israel. I am God, your God. I do not reprimand you because of your sacrifices and the burnt offerings you always bring me. And yet I do not need bulls from your farm or goats from your flocks. All the animals in the forest of mine and the cattle on a thousand of hills. All the wild birds of mine and all living things in the field. If I were hungry, I would not ask you for food, for the world and everything in it is mine. Do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Let the giving of thanks be your sacrifice to God, and give, me the, all, give the Almighty all that you promise. Call to me when trouble comes. I will save you, and you will praise me. But God says to the wicked, Why should you recite my commandments? Why should you talk about my covenant? You refuse to let me correct you. You reject my commands. You become the friend of every thief you see and you associate with adulterers. You're always ready to speak evil. You never hesitate to tell lies. You are ready to accuse your own relatives and to find fault with them. 
You have done all this, and I have said nothing. So you thought that I am like you. But now I reprimand you and make the matter plain to you. Listen to this, you that ignore me, or I will destroy you, and there will be no one to save you. Giving thanks is the sacrifice that honours me, and I will surely save all who obey me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. <coughs> Jeremiah chapter 8 verses 1 to 15 At that time the bones of the kings and of the officials of Judah as well as the bones of the priests, of the prophets and of the other people who lived in Jerusalem will be taken out of their graves instead of being gathered and buried their bones will be like manure lying on the ground they will be spread out before the sun, the moon and the stars, which these people have loved and served, and which they have consulted and worshipped. And the people of this evil nation who survive, who live in the places where I have scattered them, will prefer to die rather than go on living. I, the Lord Almighty, have spoken. The Lord told me to say to his people, When someone falls down, doesn't he get back up? If someone misses the road, doesn't he turn back? Why then, my people, do you turn away from me without ever turning back? You cling to your idols and refuse to listen to me. I listened carefully, but you did not speak the truth. Not one of you has been sorry for your wickedness. Not one of you has asked, what have I done wrong? Each of you keep on going your own way, like a horse rushing into battle. Even storks know when it is time to return. Doves, swallows and thrushes know when it is time to migrate. But, my people, you do not know the laws by which I rule you. How can you say that you are wise and that you know my laws? Look, the laws have been changed by dishonest scribes. Your wise men are put to shame. They are confused and trapped. They've rejected my words. What wisdom do they have now? So I will give their fields to new owners and their wives to other men. Everyone, great and small, tries to make money dishonestly. Even prophets and priests cheat the people. They act as if my people's wounds were only scratches. All is well, they say when all is not well. My people, were you ashamed because you did these disgusting things? No, you were not ashamed at all. You don't even know how to blush. And so you will fall as others have fallen. When I punish you, that will be the end of you. I, the Lord, have spoken. I want to gather my people as a, father gather, as a farmer gathers the harvest. But they're like a vine with no grapes, like a fig tree with no figs. Even the leaves have withered. Therefore, I have allowed outsiders to take over the land. Why are we sitting still? God's people ask. Come on, we will run to the fortified cities and die there. The Lord our God has condemned us to die. He has given us poison to drink because we have sinned against him. We hoped for peace and a time of healing, but it was no use. Terror came instead. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Full, of, Full of compassion and mercy and love is God the Most High, the Almighty. Lord Almighty and God of our ancestors, you who made heaven and earth in all their glory, all things tremble it with awe at your presence, before your great and mighty power. Immeasurable and unsearchable is your promised mercy, for you are God most high. You are full of compassion, long-suffering and very merciful, and you relent at human suffering. O God, according to your great goodness, you have promised forgiveness for repentance to those who have sinned against you. The sins I have committed against you are more in number than the sands of the sea. 
<clears throat> I'm not worthy to look up to the height of heaven because of the multitude of my iniquities. And now I bend the knee of my heart before you, imploring your kindness upon me. I have sinned, O God, I have sinned, and I acknowledge my transgressions. Unworthy as I am, you will save me according to your great mercy. For all the hosts of heaven sing your praise, and your glory is for ever and ever. Glory, glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Full of compassion and mercy and love is God the Most High, the Almighty. John chapter 6, verses 52 to 59. This started an angry argument among them. How can this man give us his flesh to eat, they asked. Jesus said to them, I'm telling you the truth. If you do not eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you will not have life in yourselves. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood will have eternal life, and I will raise them to life on the last day. For my flesh is the real food, my blood is the real drink. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood live in me, and I live in them. The living Father sent me, and because of him I live also. In the same way, whoever eats me will live because of me. This, then, is the bread that came down from heaven. It's not like the bread that your ancestors ate, but then later died. <clears throat> Those who eat this bread will live forever. Jesus said this as he taught in the synagogue in Capernaum. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O, o my, my God, God, in, in you, you I trust. trust. You are the God of my salvation. To, to you, you, O Lord, Lord I, I lift, lift up, up my soul. soul. In you I hope all the day long. O, o my, my God, God, in you, you I trust. trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To, to you, O Lord, Lord, I lift up my soul. O my, my God, God, in you I trust. Christ gave them as a light to the nations, that his salvation might reach to the ends of the earth. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. To show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham. To set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Christ gave them as a light to the nations, that his salvation might reach to the ends of the earth.
Father, we come before you this morning and bring to you the day that lies ahead of us, asking that we would use it well. Lord, we pray that we would be aware of your presence today. That we would hear your voice and respond. That we would feel your pleasure as we spend time with you and as we do our best to live as your people. Lord, whatever today holds, we pray that we may grow in knowledge and love of you. Lord, in your mercy, hear Give our prayer. prayer. Lord, we pray for the world and all of its needs this day. Yes, Lord. We pray for the continents of this world, for Africa and giving thanks for the fact that some 300 girls have been released from captivity, yes, having been abducted from their school. We thank you, Lord, for the action of Nigerian forces to release these girls. And we pray that the fundamentalists, the terrorists in that land would be suppressed as peacefully as possible but as firmly as needed we pray for the situation in mozambique with the divisions there and the troubles in ethiopia for the difficulties in chad at this time with an, a presidential race ongoing we thank you, Lord, that in parts of Africa, COVAX vaccinations are being rolled out. Yes, Lord. And we pray for the nations that are challenged with COVID and with HIV and with Ebola. We pray for the continent, that it would know peace, that it would know provision. And Lord, we pray especially for Yemen today as our government drastically cuts the aid, a move that the head of the UN says is basically a death sentence. We pray for Asia, for India and China and their dealings with one another. We pray for the places of Asia that there would be peace between India and Pakistan and we pray for North and South Korea and their situations for the tensions that many have with China. We pray for the Antipodes, especially New Zealand and Australia with their various kinds of natural disasters and the things that are going on with COVID and other situations there. We pray for Latin America and as the government is re-elected in El Salvador, we pray for equity and fairness in all that goes on there. We pray, Father, for the places in South America that are synonymous with drugs trade and the oppression of people and the corruption of officials. We pray for peace and for dialogue between the world and Iran as the nuclear talks have been ruled out. And Lord, as in America President Biden finds himself pushed to consider the use of artificial intelligence forces, robots that can counter the massive armies of China. Lord, we pray for integrity in leadership and as Biden rules the country as president, 
Mr. Trump appears at the Republican bash that was on to say it's not ended, I'll be back in four years. Lord Arnie Schwarzenegger is not. And the man of peace and of justice and equity, he seems not to be either. He might be the Terminator. But... Yeah. So, Father, we pray that the Republican Party would heal itself and would provide in itself a, a good and effective opposition. And Lord, as we pray that, we pray for our own country, for what appears to be so much a toothless opposition in our government and an in, invincible at this time with 80 seats in reserve conservative party lord we pray for our government that it will be a place of agreement and right opposition we pray for the unity of our four nations we pray for northern ireland and the difficulties there and for the fact that northern ireland is now sending its goods directly to europe rather than via the uk to escape red tape and this border that ex exists across the Irish Sea. We pray for peace between Loyalist and Republican. Yes, Lord. Lord, we pray for peace in every nation. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our, our prayer. Father, as we pray for this world that you have created and we see the selfishness, the greed, and the sinfulness of man and woman, Lord, we pray for your church this morning, that your church would be strong and faithful, alive and mm -hmm. active, yes. that your church would continue to preach your word in season and out of season to nurture and to help believers to grow in faith and strength in knowledge and understanding Lord we pray that we would continue to carry out those sacraments that are handed down to us of baptism and communion to meet together to help each other to share together in worship and around your table that Lord your church would be a voice for justice and that we would stand against injustice when we find it, wherever we find it, Lord. And Lord, in these times of climate crisis, that your church would be a forerunner in ecological thinking and practice that we would be mindful of our responsibility of stewardship for this world that you have given us that we would make every effort to nurture and protect nature and the natural world that Lord we would be faithful to our calling as your people that we wouldn't turn aside that we wouldn't follow the ways of the world that we wouldn't run away when difficulty and hardship comes 
but that we would keep our eyes fixed on you and our hearts faithful to your teaching knowing that you are with us you help inspire guide and protect us and when the end comes you will welcome us into your kingdom into your glory Lord in your mercy hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer Lord as we draw our prayers to a close we pray for all those we know yes, Lord. who are on our hearts and minds this day especially we pray for those we know who are unwell. We pray for those we know who are undergoing trying times, for those who have been handed the label terminal. Yes. We pray for your peace and for your presence and healing in their lives. Yes, Lord. We pray for those who care for loved ones with cancer. We pray for Maureen Williams and for Kevin and Lizzie and Patsy and for Morag and her platelet count and other medical needs. We pray for those we know who await transplants, yes, those who are waiting treatment, those whose treatment has stalled as the NHS has stretched past their limits. Lord, we pray for all. We lift them to you now. We pray this day for ourselves that we would know your presence, your spirit within us, mm -hmm. and be a blessing to others as we are blessed. Yes, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty God, from the first fruits of the English nation who turned to Christ, you called your servant Chad to be an evangelist and bishop of his own people. Give us grace so to follow his peaceable nature, humble spirit, and prayerful life that we may truly commend to others the faith which we ourselves profess through Jesus Christ your son our Lord who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God now and forever Amen, Amen. trusting in the compassion of God as our Saviour taught us so we pray our, our Father, Father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever amen May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. <clears throat> Thank you for being with us, guys. Have a good day. Stay safe. Be well. And if we can help, remember we are here. Bye. Take care. Bye. Turn it switch on. You can't leave.